Hi, my name is Sanskriti Chattopadhyay. I am a student in Film and Television Institute of India. I am doing my three-year postgraduate diploma course in film, specialization in direction and screenplay writing. In, uh, as you know, Film and Television Institute of India is uh, one of the most prestigious schools in not just India but also in South Asia. So today we would be talking about my institute, Film and Television Insti Institute of India uh, and uh, the entrance test here and the uh, way of admission process, the way the courses are planned, the career that we take and uh, what are the opportunities after this. Let us begin with a little bit about what is direction and uh, what is it that we have to do or what is it that we learn at all in this course direction and screenplay writing. As you can see in the name that this course has two aspects, first direction and second screenplay writing. So in direction the most important thing that you do is you have to plan and uh, visualize and work for creating a complete body of a film. So the exercises that we do, that we are given, the film exercises especially, in which we are supposed to find ourselves, our voices and our intentions and inclinations in a particular, within a particular time, in a certain way that touches the audience's heart, that through the screen I can reach another person. That is the most important role of a filmmaker. And the other half, screenplay writing, which is far more uh, technically specific, that is where you will have to prepare and create uh, a script from the idea to the um, uh, working script level which can go to the shoot and which can be the first stepping stone of the whole film in its making. So now let's talk about the joint entrance test, JET, which is the core admission process of Film and Television Institute and it is, uh, although it's conducted by um, Film and Television Institute of India, it is a joint entrance test between SRFTI, Satyajit Rai Film and Television Institute and um, FTII. So what happens is this particular test has two parts, uh, one is written and another is orientation. So in the written it also there are some uh, sections, in the first sections there are certain MCQ of a particular percentage, let us say around 30 percent which changes every year, it might go up or down and the rest is subjective questions which is on your specific area that you are going to apply in. The MCQs, the multiple choice questions are more of a uh, general knowledge area. So you kind of uh, have to learn about not just the world as it is now but also generally have some idea about this uh, with different streams of fine art and for the subjective area which constitutes the most of it and which creates your first impression in this institute to the uh, people who are seeing your uh, sheets. This subjective area actually consists of um, very specifically to film and any other specific fine art. And uh, what they are looking for is not so much in terms of information, you do not have to do a, give a lot of names and you, you do not have to come from a very privileged position where you have been already seen a lot of different kinds of films. Of course, you need to know certain uh, important movements that have happened, certain important names who have changed the way film works in the world. But more than that, what FTII is looking for is how you can read a film and whether you are talking about a very popular, very contemporary film or a very interesting film of a master, can you say something, can you remark on that film that shows who you are and what your thought process is. Uh, that is more or less what the writing examination is looking for and after the writing examination is done, the few students who are selected, around 30 students who are selected and invited. From them, uh, 10 students will be selected after a grueling session of orientation which takes 7 days and in which you have to do a lot of written and practical assignments and uh, you have to also 
go through a departmental interview that takes about two hours or so and then there is a specific interview that happens with not just your department but multiple departments and the administrative heads present and after the cumulative grades of all of these come you are in FTII. So that is the entrance. Now let us talk about the course, the direction and screenplay writing course as we go through it in the three years. As you know I have done most of my three years and I am only, I only have the final diploma film left. So uh, it is actually quite an interesting journey and the biggest thing that one must say is uh, when you go to other institutes for a particular degree, you go to learn, yes. But in FTIA along with learning, you also go through a change of life, you go through a change of perspective. So that I do not know if a lot of places can actually offer you. Our courses, hai, we mostly have uh, two parts, theory and practicals obviously. So within the theory, our internal faculties hai, Wohi akele nahi lete hai, humare bahar se bhi uh, many important names of India and outside who come to teach us and offer us their knowledge and we get a chance to work with them, see them in work, learn from them, listen to them and that kind of creates a conceptual and theoretical basis for our uh, direction and screenplay writing course which leads you to the practical part. So, based on these conceptual notes that we gather from the grades and our internal faculties, we move on to the practicals creating our own work. Here we have almost the utmost freedom that one can imagine. Uh, there is not much of, we are not much of into the production hassle as such. Our whole orientation is towards how a idea, a crisp core idea can as I said before can reach through the screen and reach to you and that is what we try to do that is what we learn in steps and in multiple exercises and practicals and in films and we fail and sometimes we somewhat succeed <laughs> but that is how the course is. As far as job opportunities ki baat hai, so there is obviously no such quote unquote job that we intend to go for. Of course there are jobs you can go to different production houses, different um, institutes but most of us as we pass out from here do not as such look for jobs. We look to forward to making our own films. Or is may be bohat tara hai. Obviously aise bhi humare bohat seniors hai jo jinke naam aap janoge bhi who went to the, uh, the mainstream industry and they are doing making amazing films and you might have even heard a uh, few of their names like uh, Hirani sir, Vidhu Vinod Chopra, uh, Vansali ji. So, although he is not from our department <laughs> but anyway, but that is not where our whole job opportunity or our own uh, opportunity of making film ends. Iske alawa bhi hamara kuch, uh, there are different regional industries where people go to and apart from all the mainstream industries, there is a very strong flow of parallel filmmaking which has been coming from FTI and film institute ka, matlab, is film institute ka specialty yehi hai ki no matter how many years it has been running, although it is one of the oldest film institutes, it still provides that knowledge, that opening up that helps you to, that helps a student who is in the same batch to take these decisions. Some of them can go in a, on a journey in a mainstream world and some of them can go in this journey in a parallel world. Dono hi bohat alag hai, dono hi bohat kathin hai apne apne tarike se. But they are, they both need an amazing amount of training and that training FTI is able to provide. Now I will talk about the skills required to have a successful career if one may say in this uh, field. Technically speaking we are only walking around with our papers, we do not have any such machinery to show. 
but direction is actually one of the most technical fields because you have to have the basic technical knowledge enough to not just be able to imagine in and know how I can make that imagination come true through these technical processes in the other fields. Also you have to have certain strength over the medium, over different aspects of the medium so that you can actually convince your collaborators. It is not enough in today's day and age to just say okay someone will have to listen to me. You will have to convince someone and uh, film actually works on a collaborative basis and how, uh, so you need um, immense articulation skills. You have to be eloquent, you have to be technically strong and not just in one field, you have to be uh, strong in uh, some, I mean at least in the basic knowledge in cinematography, editing, sound, you need to know the basics otherwise you can't function, even art direction, you have to be hands on and physical and you have to have manage management skills because uh, there are about 50 people going around the set for your 20 minute film and they will not have any other communication, me communication mediator other than you and it is your job to make sure that from the uh, youngest of boy to the oldest of man and the reverest of ladies are all coming together and they are all comfortable to work for this film to create uh, the vision that you have found for yourself. Apart from FTIA, there are also some other institutes who are doing amazing works and who are very prestigious in this field. But sadly, we can only name a few at this moment and I will just pick the specific few who do give this option of uh, both mainstream and parallel world. Uh, and there are many more that I might not be able to mention because of the time constraint. So uh, of course other than FTII, first name that comes to your mind is SRFTI and uh, then KR Narayanan Film School in Kerala, Beijing Film School, um, China, LFME, France, uh, AFI and uh, UCLA, uh, Prague Film School and uh, the national film the national school for film television and uh, theater poland these are the schools that i'm that are at the top of my head but i'm sure there are many more and uh, they are all doing amazing works okay so that is all that i have to offer today i hope that's of some help to you and uh, thank you for watching this episode of delhi knowledge track and if you have any comments, please post them below. We would love to answer.